AKA Bullets YouTube channel. Hurry up, now tell us why you're here. Before the 26th race, Kyle Traxon was once again injured by Chick Hicks, and now he has to miss the next two races. Instead of Kyle Traxon, all of her engines will race in the 26th race, and Chick Hicks is docked 100 points for what he did to Kyle Traxon. Alloy Wilson will lead the first 10 laps of the 26th race, but then Clint Shiftwright will take the lead for the next 9 laps. Chick Hicks is 6th as of lap 15, where he'll eliminate Kale Yarblow. Ken Schrader will take the lead on lap 19 and lead for the next 8 laps, but then Mark Carton will take the lead from him and lead all the way to lap 115! But then Dale Earnhardt will take the lead for him and lead for 205 laps! Hell! But then Chick Hicks causes a crash that eliminates these cars on lap 146. But then, David Carlison will take the lead and lead for 79 laps! But then, James Robson will lead for the last lap, and he'll win the 26th race. The 27th race will be started by Daryl Cutchum, who starts at pole position. But then, Chick Hicks will cause a crash that eliminates all of these cars! And Dale Earnhardt punts Rusty Wheelhouse out of the way on lap 306, and now he's out. Craig Schiffler is down one lap. Ken Schrader almost won the 27th race, but he but he lost to Chick Hicks, who wins the 27th race. After it, Dale Carrick got sick and now he has to miss the 28th race. Instead, Murray Clutchburn will start the 28th race. He'll leave for a little while, but then Kyle Traxon is now out because of Dale Earnhardt, who caused another crash where he caused Andrew Axler to flip, and now Andrew Axler is out. Same with James Cleanair and Thomas Tanrev, who are also out. Chick Hicks wins the 28th race, his second in a row. This is what Chick Hicks had to say. Phil Pitstops says he needs to become better, and that's what he told RSN. Ernie Gearson will start the 29th race. He'll leave for only a few laps, but then Dale Earnhardt will wreck these cars on lap 79. Chick Hicks will wreck, wreck Billy Oil Changer on lap 185, and now he's out for the rest of the season. Poor Billy Oil Changer. Kyle Traxon will crash Greg Locke and brush Kerb on lap 261. Five laps later, Kenny Shiftwright will blow his engine. Dale Earnhardt will win the 29th race. On the 30th race, Alloy Wilson will start at pole position. And guess what happens at the very start of the race? Nick Charger has his engine fail, and now he's out. Chick Hicks will crash all of these cars on lap 67. But then, Kyle Traxon will wreck Ron Pitcar on lap 102. Alan Karwicki almost won the 30th race, but in the end, the King wins the 30th race. On the 31st race, Andrew Axler will start at pole position, but then Chick Hicks will wreck all of these cars! And he later crashes Don Alternators and his rival Kyle Trax in lap 98. But the King wins the 31st race. The 32nd race starts with Clint Shiftwright at pole position. You're probably wondering why all the pole positions. But Brush Kerber accidentally starts a crash that eliminates all of these cars. Chick Hicks is 10th as of lap 314, where he'll crash James Robson, Jonathan Melter, and Alloy Wilson, who's out for three races. Alloy Wilson's not happy about that. Dale Earnhardt will wreck all of these cars, and Neil Brickey is out next race, but Clint and Clint Shiftwright will lead these laps, or not lead some laps. Dale Earnhardt will almost win the 32nd race, but who actually wins is Davey Carlison, who will win the 32nd race by only nine feet. Kale Yarblow is out for three races because his hauler crashes after the race ended. Benny Pitstops will start the 33rd race where he'll lead some laps, but then Jonathan Melcher eliminates his rival Cole Speedland and a few others. Hall Ingus will, is out on lap 117 due to a blown engine. Chick Hicks wrecks James Cleanair and Michael Cartrip on lap 164. But then, Dale Earnhardt will almost win the 33rd race. But in the end, Larry Smith will win the 33rd race. The 34th race begins with Davey Carlison at pole position. He'll leave for at least 10 laps before Chick Hicks will cause another huge crash.
And also, Dale Earnhardt will punt Clint Schiffer out of the way on lap 102. Clint Schiffer is now out. Kyle Traxon will wreck Mark Carton and his rivals. James Robson will win the 34th race, avoiding being touched. The pit stops revolting crew are these cars, and they all finish in the top 20 this race. For the 35th race, Rusty Wheelhouse will start the race, but only on lap 9. Chick Hicks will flip Mark Landis and also cause all these other cars to be out. Dale Earnhardt will punt Eugene Karbareski out of the way, which causes a pileup. Neil Brakett is down two laps from this pileup. David Carlison almost won the 35th race, but in the end, Bill Racelot will win his first race of the season with the 35th race in 1988. Here is the top 20 just before the Dynaco 400. About that. It will be a two-way race for the Piston Cup between Dale Earnhardt and the King. No one's really close, but these are the top but these are the next four racers in terms of points. Remember to press the notifications button, which goes ring 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 after you press it. And lightning strikes back, and that's as if you subscribed, of course. And thank you for watching this entire video. Two things I forgot to say earlier in the video. On the 30th race, Kyle Traxon and Hall Ingus became rivals. And on the 35th race, Kale Yarblow said that the 1988 Dynaco 400 will be his last race. Thus meaning he's going to retire.